Ubiports team have released Ubuntu Touch OTA 17. Now, this isn't some huge elaborate release since the team is gearing up to move to Ubuntu 20.04, but there is still some stuff here that's worth covering. So we're gonna be going ahead and reading through this article right now on the Linux Lounge. If you enjoyed this video, consider joining Odyssey, the freedom respecting alternative to YouTube. Links in the description. Today we're taking a look at the Ubuntu Touch OTA 17 release. Now we're only looking through this article for now since it's not really that much different, but to be honest, that's expected. But I still do think we're gonna have an interesting time taking a look through this article. So first they go ahead and outline what devices are supported by this release of Ubuntu Touch. There's quite a lot of them here and I have a few of these devices, so in the coming days maybe I'll go ahead and give it a test. And as you can see the Pine64, Pinephone and Pinetab are still updated independently from the rest of these devices, so you'll obviously have to use a different channel for those devices. What is interesting is there are now some new devices that have now been categorized as stable. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Xiaomi Redmi 3S, 3X and 3SP. So if you have either of those two devices you're now going to be able to go ahead and try out Ubuntu Touch stable on those devices. Although be warned that I have still had some issues in the past on devices classified as stable. So if you want a really stable experience maybe try a more mature device than that. They then go on to mention that they've made a love letter to the community by the community on YouTube, so you can go ahead and check that out if you want. And as they said, they are also now slowing down the development a little bit as they rebase everything on Ubuntu 20.04. Sadly, this release is still based on Ubuntu 16.04, which I believe has gone end of life, but it is what it is, I guess. And hopefully fairly soon, we'll be able to use Ubuntu Touch based on Ubuntu 20.04. Next up, they mentioned that Ubuntu to touch now has support for NFC hardware on most devices running Android 9, so that includes the Pixel 3a and the Volaphone, and NFC support gives app developers the ability to read or write NFC tags and even communicate with other devices using the protocol. And apparently people have already been thinking up ideas on how to use the NFC feature, so that is pretty cool. Although do be aware that that's not necessarily going to be like NFC support on your Android device. For instance, you're most definitely not going to be able to make Make contactless payment with Ubuntu Touch at the moment, if ever, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Camera flash, zoom, rotation, and focus have also been fixed on many Ubuntu Touch devices. Apparently, it was almost discovered by accident and was brought back into mainline development from the Android 9 branches. So, if you use your phone for a lot of pictures and stuff, Ubuntu Touch has now got you covered. There's also a new keyboard layout, which that's pretty handy if you speak this language. And also, apparently, word prediction has been been fixed on the Swift, French, and English Dvorak keyboard layout. Now, I'm going to be honest, I didn't actually know that Ubuntu Touch supported Dvorak, so that's pretty cool. There's also been some device-specific updates. Libertine containers will now be set up correctly on the OnePlus 3. The Pixel 3a now has working thumbnail generation. Vibration works immediately on startup, and its battery life is much improved. That's pretty cool. They also worked around some issues with Trust Store and online accounts on the Nexus 4 and 7. Pretty cool. And automatic brightness was fixed on the Volaphone, so if you have a Volaphone, now Ubuntu Touch is even better. They've also recently updated Mia, and apparently that's not broke very much, which is a great testament to the software stability. So that's pretty cool. And they also made a new release mascot for OTA 17, which is apparently a 10 gram B. So you can go ahead and see that at the top of this release announcement, which is pretty cool. And if we scroll down, we can see what's next. And they essentially say that they're making great progress towards being rebased on Ubuntu 20.04. They're now able to launch Lomiri, launch apps to display in Lomiri, and launch apps via a systemd user session. The problem is that apparently all of those are separate. Putting them all together will bring them much closer to the first public milestone for the project, providing the first Ubuntu Touch image based on 20.04. So thankfully, it seems that they are pretty close to being rebased on Ubuntu 20.04. And it would also seem that Ubuntu Touch OTA 18 is going to be another fairly small release, but to be honest, given the fact that they're working towards a big release, 
that's completely fine. And it should be released fairly soon, apparently. And if you scroll down here, you can see some information on how to update new Ubuntu Touch users, you, you know, information for them, and how to do a bug report. And you can also see a full change log if you like. So all in all, this is quite a small release, but there's definitely some cool stuff in here. To be honest, the way that I see it, this release is very much working towards the future of Ubuntu Touch, as opposed to being quite a big release on its own. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is, but to be honest, that's not a bad thing at all. There is some cool stuff here. So with that said, if you've installed this new OTA release of Ubuntu Touch, do let me know in the comment section below and let me know how it went. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I thank you for watching it, and I will see you in the next one.